Okay, folks, what we're going to do today, a little, something a little different. Um, I came up with this idea a while back because I could see all the grunge and stuff that was forming around the old toothbrush holder, you know, and the thought of sticking that thing in my mouth every day kind of is kind of disgusting. And I thought, well, wouldn't it be a neat way if we could sterilize our toothbrush? But I didn't feel like going out and spending hundreds of dollars on one of these professional... Uh, uh, UV sterilizer and I've come up with my own little solution here what I did is I got myself a UV germicidal little 10 watt um, fluorescent lamp and I found a box to put it in in this case no this is not an antique telephone I, I, I couldn't be that cruel to actually wreck an antique telephone but for myself this is a this is a perfect example of what to put it in for myself because I am in the uh, telephone industry so I have all kinds of old phones and like real old uh, telephones around the house here so when I, I found this this actually was an AM radio that I, I found at a garage sale and I couldn't resist I thought what a perfect example so what I ended up doing is I, I've got myself a, 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 a ballast here for a this this was from a, a desk lamp again salvaged out of the garbage it's a fluorescent ballast for a, 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 a compact fluorescent lamp. And it says for 1, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, or 22 watt lamp. Well, this is a, a 10 watt lamp. So I think we're probably good to go on this, uh, on this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, basically prep the inside. I'm just going to put this lamp out of the way here so it doesn't get damaged because uh, that's the most expensive part in this entire um, uh, little project here. Everything else here I basically scavenged for free but the light bulb I had to buy and they are not that inexpensive. What we're going to do is I'm going to mount that lamp inside and I've already started on this. I've got some, this is silver, this is a silver uh, uh, like a foil tape so I'm going to coat the inside of this box just to um, give it a little more reflectivity and give it a little more power. But if I open this up, and I've already gutted the inside here, I've already taken the AM radio that was in here out. Originally, this was the volume and the tuning dial, which did not work. This is just for imitation. This is not a real telephone, which is kind of an imitation thing. And same with the same with the earpiece here. This is just for looks. It was to look like an old-fashioned phone. So I've already taken the radio portion out of it now and I just have an empty uh, cabinet and I used a couple washers to reattach the, 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 the knobs so they look like bells and what I've done is I've attached my trusty toothbrush holder right there on the on the back as you can see so that the toothbrushes will sit inside here the lamp is going to go inside the cabinet and I've already taken it upon myself to rework the this was the battery holder that held the batteries in place there was a there was a, a, a battery terminal at each end and the batteries actually fit inside a tube and this held the batteries in place so I'm going to rework that piece and use that to hold the lamp in place we're going to mount the lamp in here I've got a couple switches because it's ultraviolet light you want to make sure that it doesn't it is not accidentally left turned on when you open this thing because uh, ultraviolet sea light is harmful and it can damage your eyes. So I'm going to mount a little switch inside here that will turn off the lamp in the event that somebody does open the uh, unit while it's powered up. And I'm also going to mount a power switch to allow turning it on and off without, you know, so they can be turned off while the lid is closed. And we're going to mount, I've got a light socket here. We're going to mount all this inside here and I'm going to show you how it's done and show you how it works as we proceed. What I've done is I've pre-drilled a couple holes to mount my safety cutout switch and I'm now going to attach the switch to one side of the uh, line cord. Now that we've soldered the, uh, the wire on, I'm just going to use my barbecue lighter here to heat shrink the tubing onto the wire. I've mounted the safety cutout switch. When I close the door, you can hear it click. When I open the door, the switch opens. It is wired so that it is in normally open configuration. 
So when you close the switch, it turns the power on. When you open the switch or open the door, it shuts off the power. Now if I wanted to have the light running all the time that the door is closed and just unplug and plug the ballast, that's all I would need is a safety switch and I could wire the lamp up. But I actually want to have a secondary switch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole in the other side here and mount the target. pass through it and almost big enough okay as you can see I've got the switch mounted I didn't film the installation of the switch because it turned out to be a lot more work than I anticipated because uh, well the wood depth was a little deeper than the actual shank length of the screw okay the as switch. you can see I've now mounted the socket if we look at the top here I've got the socket mounted at the top I use some zap zap ties to mount the socket I'm in, uh, now in the process of putting the aluminum, um, it's a reflective type tape. Um, I don't know exactly where you're going to if you're going to try and get this silver tape. It's like a MacTac tape. Um, I don't exactly know where you could buy this type of tape. I was given a little bit of it on the end of a roll from a, a splicer, a friend of mine that uh, had a little bit left. So there we have it complete. I've now completed the uh, installation of the uh, reflective tape. I'm now going to install the ultraviolet lamp and we're going to do a test firing. Mm -hmm. So I put the ultraviolet lamp in place mm -hmm. and plug it in and we're going to see if it operates. For the sake of the video, I'm just going to activate the, uh, the, the lockout switch manually. I've got to cover my eyes here because uh, you don't want to look at ultraviolet light, but uh, I can see a reflection that the light is on. So I know that uh, the light is working. If I close the door, I can hear it click, and if I look, I can see light coming from the inside of the box, so our project is complete. So now we have our completed project for today. It's a ultraviolet toothbrush sterilizer, and it's built into what a replica of an old-fashioned uh, telephone from the early 1900s, and it was actually a radio when it started that I picked up at a garage sale. I've wired it with a, a cutout switch so that once the door is open, if someone forgets to turn off the switch, the UV light in the back here will turn off to prevent exposure to ultraviolet C radiation. So there you have it. It's complete. Sure beats leaving the toothbrushes sitting in the jar. Let's uh, close the lid. The light comes on. If you take the camera over here, you can see that the light is actually operating. But for safety, as soon as you open the door, the light goes out. Simple as that.